नमस्कार दिस इज श्रीनाथ वासम सब डिविजनल इंजीनियर मोबाइल रीजनल टेलीकॉम ट्रेनिंग सेंटर हैदराबाद एंड द पार्ट ऑफ ईपीपी अपग्रेडेशन सो ऑफ ई फोर ई फाइव सो इन द कंज्यूमर मोबिलिटी मॉड्यूल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन द चैप्टर इज क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मोबाइल नेटवर्क so we'll be focusing here uh, what these terms and how it applies to the mobile network and at the same time we'll be uh, dealing these terms with respect to the lte and even future gen uh, networks just like 5g also let's start so in this chapter we are going to discuss about uh, the quality of service and quality of experience definitions and the concept of uh, the qos and at the same time the concept of qoe and uh, the same concepts in the lte and uh, these two concepts with respect to the service prospective yeah now coming to the definitions of the quality of service so there are three definitions are there according to the itu etsi and iso so as far as the itu is concerned so the definition is given by itu is the totality of characteristics of a telecommunications service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated and implied needs of the user of that service so according to european telecommunication standard institute the quality of the service is defined as the ability to segment traffic or differentiate between traffic types in order for the network to treat certain traffic differently from others okay and according to international standards organization so they have given in their document of uh, uh, 8402 so the definition as follows the totality of characteristics of an entity that bear on its ability to satisfy stated and implied needs so whatever may be the definitions so as far as the quality of service is concerned quality of the service is concerned so basically the quality of service can be uh, taken with respect to the operator in the two forms right that is in the quality of the service the technical we can call about and the quality of service non technical we call about so as far as the operator is concerned the quality of the service is a promised one which we are promising to the customer so what we are promising to the customer okay so under the same time so the customer is receiving that you know the service from us and you know he is expecting uh, some quality of service so here two things i just wanted to say one is with the perception of the customer and one is with perception of you know uh, the operator so with the perception of the customer the quality of the service is in an expectation that expectation you know uh, comes through uh, the trends in the market or advertising of our products in the market or the tariffs and the costs which are uh, they are uh, competitive competitive tariffs and costs which are there in the market so all these three things you know uh, give some expectation of the quality of service with the pers- uh, in the perception of the customer or the user and coming to uh, the operator wise see we would be having the quality of the service in the technical mode and the quality of service non technical mode so one thing the quality of service technical is deriving by our network performance and the terminal performance so what is the difference between this network performance and the terminal performance so the terminal performance is a one so where the user is having with him right see uh, the network performance is the entity how they are performing you know uh, uh, that makes sense so here let us assume something like you know uh, for example in my network i have a device or entity for example considering uh, some sgw is there so sgw can you know uh, give uh, a 2 gbps of throughput for a customer for example but whereas the terminal the customer might be having you know uh, the terminal with him or the user equipment probably if it is having a capability of giving a 5 mbps then you know that that makes sense of that quality of service okay there there the bottleneck comes over there so that is what the quality of service technically depends on the two param, two two things one is on the terminal performance and at the same time the network performance and coming to the non technical side the quality of the service so that deals about you know how we are treating the customer how you know uh, the hospitality we are providing the customer that's what we talk about the customer care under the same time the point of sale contact 
so the ambience or you know uh, the uh, the ambience or brand image which creates to the customer so all this makes sense of the quality of the service we are going to uh, promise him what we are promising as a technical non technical factor now uh, coming to this qs terminology the quality of service terminology we are having you know uh, uh, four kind of uh, the terms the quality of service requirement of a user and customer and the quality of service offered or planned by the operator and the quality of service delivered by the operator and the quality of service experienced by the customer now coming to the qosr so it is a quality of service requirement of a user okay so normally what probably user might be requiring is in kind of you know every every user is requiring their unique you know performance Uh, our unique requirement from the user is, you know, uh, that that's what we are talking about the QSR. And according to the requirement, so what kind of quality of service we are planning and we are offering or we are promising to the customer as a service provider. So that is what we are talking about the QSO, right? Quality of service offered. Then, basing on the promise. so uh, how much uh, we we achieve to deliver that qs to the customer that parameter we are talking the quality of service delivered to the delivered by the service provider and when we deliver something you know the user has to experience isn't it user has to experiencing so that is what the quality of service experienced or perceived by that user that what we are talking about the qose now uh, here uh, we'll be having some uh, some other terms also with respect to the quality of service so there's a characteristic it's a property uh, which you know helps to differentiate or it's making a unique uh, as a customer so every person is having their own uh, you know uh, they they need their unique uh, they they feel that they must require uh, something unique service to them okay and next uh, uh, it comes about the criterion so criterion is nothing but the collection collection of the characteristics of a single characteristic or appropriate uh, you know uh, where the user will get a benefit of that services so your user will get you know a benefit of that service he will be describing that is what you know we are talking about the criterion then coming to the parameter uh, parameter is you know it's a it's a quantifiable characteristic of a service so with a specified scope and boundaries so then one more thing we are talking about the objective of parameter so that is nothing but you know uh, that that can be measurable which can be measurable we are talking about that then the subjective is one which is a qualitative okay the qualitative in a sense the parameter that can be expressed using human judgment by understanding you know uh, that parameters that is what we are talking about the qualitative parameter or subjective parameter then the measure is nothing but it, it's a, it's a unit uh, to be expressed then the metric so it is a value calculated that observed attributes or uh, to that particular measure is called the metric next comes to the service service what is a service service is a set of functions offered to user by an operator or an organization so then item item may be any part or device a subsystem a functional unit equipment or system that can be individually considered and user who is a user who is going to experience it right who is taking the service from us you know we can call them as a uh, uh, user and you know especially here there's a two thing two uh, uh, two differentiations are there so user is one who will be uh, Uh, having or he will be utilizing the services through the connection of uh, from our network okay as part of communication but customer is uh, customer is who is responsible to pay that service for example in our home probably uh, as a parent we might be have we, we are a customer but i i might be paying the bills for my service but you know my family members just like my kid or somebody else also using so they are the users to that particular service that that makes a differentiation so then comes to the network performance so network performance is an ability ability of a network or sometimes 
uh, it's a portion of network also uh, to provide the functions related to the communications between the users so that's what we are talking about the network performance a network provider uh, is a one uh, who will be who will be you know uh, 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 what we are talking about is see it's an organization okay uh, who owns a telecommunications network so transport their bearers uh, in the telecommunication services for example uh, here i just wanted to say something some differentiation between the network provider and the service provider so network provider is a one who will be who will be using who will be offering their network to transport their bearers in the telecommunication service service provider is a one uh, who will be providing some services to the users and the customers the difference is for example some icici bank is there right in the hyderabad for example if hyderabad the icici bank want to share some information to the mumbai so what we are doing we are providing some kind of vpn uh, connection to that icici bank in the hyderabad and mumbai so icici bank is transporting their packets through our telecommunication network what we are talking about the mpls cloud so now we are becoming a network provider from them but as part of the service provider so what we for example uh, i am i am giving some internet connection just like you know uh, uh, dsl or fttdh connection or mobile internet so somebody is using as a pdn network like you know they are they are connecting to the pdn public domain network to access the internet or mms something else then so that 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 kind of service who are providing that can be they can called as a service provider now coming to the quality of experience right so there is a difference between the quality of service and the quality of the experience now coming to the quality of experience is you know it is one thing you know uh, uh, it is not a what we can call is it is not a uniform thing it's not a uniform thing every user will experience in a different mode it, every user will experience on a perceive that uh, in a different different mode so now the quality of service uh, sorry quality of experience can be the overall acceptability of an, an application of service or perceived subjectively by that uh, particular end user we can say uh, it's a what we can call about uh, it's a, a delight of you know uh, the user experience individually okay and this poe may vary uh, from one particular kind of user to the another particular kind of user and all okay so what are the influencing of this poe when it is unique what we are talking about what is the uh, influencing factor in a sense so the influencing factors of the quality of experience may be uh, you know different the, the attitude of a customer and the cultural background you know uh, the family uh, uh, circumstances and psychological profiles or emotional state of the user right all these factors influence that user sometimes you know the same person may be experiencing uh, good at the moment you know if he is in some stress or kind of thing some others because of the psychological profile or the emotional state he might be experiencing in a different way in a different situation so that is what you know the quality of uh, experience uh, influence these kind of factors now coming to the quality of experience assessment mm -hmm. see the quality of experience assessment is a process process of you know measuring or estimating the qoe for a set of users the set of users who are that set of users you know who are using our service as an application for a dedicated purposes okay so i'm considering you know all these other factors uh, like you know psychological profiles and cultural background socio economic all these things okay now uh, we'll have a differentiation between the quality of experience and the quality of uh, service see quality of experience is different from the quality of service as we discussed so one thing is the quality of experience is you know what the customer is perceiving and the experiencing about the service what we are offering and you know that may that, that is the that is what we were talking about the gist gist of our complete end to end system elements so usme hum log there you know the user will uh, come into the picture and our you know ec uh, his his equipment uh, will come into the picture and our network uh, uh, performance come into the picture Uh, and our services infrastructures come into the picture our you know hospitality coming comes into the picture and everything comes into the picture so and this quality of experience may be influenced by that user expectations and that context also so as i said you know it influence lot of factors at the same time 
right coming to the uh, yeah uh, this one and especially when it comes to the qoe the qoe is measured subjectively by end user and by different uh, um, may it may differ from one user to another user so how we are measuring that qoe so we'll be measuring the qoe using a method called you know mean opinion score method mean opinion score mos method so here you know basically that mean opinion score method beginningly we were taking it only for the voice service but now we are using for even the data also included the ip tv video and everything so now if you observe the table so there's a score is there there's a uh, scale is there from 1 to 5 where one goes to the poor to oh sorry one goes to the very very bad two poor and three fair and four good and five excellent quality so that is a, a benchmark or the scale has been given for the measuring of the qoe as per the mos now coming to here if you observe the slide see the total network performance is coming into the picture from our access network to our you know when it it comes to our uh, uh, pdn connectivity okay so now here this total network performance includes of you know our access network performance and our core network performance and if you have some ip connected network is there that network performance and if you have some border gateways and you know which going to connect to the uh, uh, pdn so all this and, and even uh, the pdn or nib performance everything cumulatively we are calling as a total network performance but when it comes to the quality of service when it comes to the quality of the service the quality of service is starts from the user equipment if you if you keenly observe here so our network performance starts from the access network and it uh, it is a, a cumulative of all the network uh, networks what we are having but the quality of service not only depends on our network performance it also depends on the user equipment so that is what you know as i said see probably my network is supposed to uh, my network is able to provide 1 gbps of throughput to the end user depending on his quality of the service profile his qos template but if his user equipment will not support if it doesn't support that you know 1 gbps throughput then here the bottleneck coming into the picture if the user equipment you know supports only the 5 mbps then we should i should you know provide only the 5 mbps throughput where i, I don't want to waste my resources right so that is what the quality of service is a uh, judgmental or it is something like you no know, what we can call you know it is it is taking kind of promising now uh, taking the factor not only the network ability by taking the user equipment ability also into the picture okay now coming to the total experience if you see the slide properly so the total you know uh, quality of experience is not only it depends on the complete network and the user equipment it is the experience or the feeling or the perception of the user so how that user is feeling about probably sometimes what happens is the same connection will be giving to a student and the same connection will be giving to some uh, grandparent okay the same you know one uh, 5 mbps connection or something whatever it may be some some kind of throughput see sometimes you know the grandparent may be satisfying with the speed basically because of you know uh, because of you know what they are browsing how they are using their you know smartphone and all so if it goes to the student in context you know what probably he might be uh, streaming he might be watching the netflix or the amazon prime or something something else uh, which takes a much user data probably at that context you no know, so sometimes uh, he may not he may not experience the services as much as good okay so in a sense the usage the usage style may varies from you know one user to the another user that is the reason the quality of experience completely depends from the user it, it all depends from the user now uh, there are couple of uh, frameworks are there here uh, general qs frameworks we need to discuss so here we are talking about the speed so a uh, speed i hope you are all know and coming to accuracy accuracy is one way to which we talks about the switch quality uh, the call success ratio uh, billing correctness without any flaws etc and availability will be talking about you know what are the availability availability in the sense you know wherever uh, the customer goes uh, my network should be available there 
so it's just like in you know, a coverage aspects okay and uh, uh, co- not only the coverage in that particular coverage he should get all the services just like you know every service whatever he wanted to so that is what we are talking the service availability etc then the reliability so what makes the reliability the reliability makes that you know uh, i should not get the much more drop call ratio basically for example if a user is making you know uh, 10 number of uh, uh, calls out of 10 number of attempts you know if nine calls are getting failure then you know he may feel that it's not a reliable network that that what depends on the reliability so and at the same time uh, we should not give uh, the more prones to the billing we should not give any flash in the billing so we should not get uh, repeated number of you know billing complaints then the security the security is as much as transparent we will be and as much as as fraud prevention we can do without any lapses in the network or without lapses any in the billing then coming to the simplicity simplicity is a one you know uh, which talks about uh, the ease of software updations and ease of contract terminations if subscriber wanted to modify the contract uh, and or else if subscriber wanted to terminate his connection something else whatever he wanted to modify uh, with respect to the service contracts and all it should be very user friendly he it, it should be very simplicity it doesn't mean that you know he need to travel for kilometer kilometer you know uh, kilometers you know to change some con- contract uh, uh, changes right we should provide some kind of simplicity and at the same time flexibility also flexibility also to change his contract like you know uh, different methodologies like you know he need not come every time to the csc uh, we should provide some kind of flexibility to through the online or you know through the some other medium also okay now here you know uh, the same thing if you can look into that picture uh, uh, this table so there are some kind of you know f- uh, indicators are given so in the left pan the service functions are given and the right pan you know the service quality criterion is given so we have differentiated in the right side you know the speed uh, accuracy availability reliability security simplicity and the flexibility so coming to the service functions we have differentiated the service management wise and connection quality wise and the billing wise and network management by the customer so just you know whatever we discuss this uh, i mean uh, this is a glimpses of this thing you know uh, like the first one i'll explain you so when it comes to a service management of you know sales and pre contract activities so the speed is a quality service quality criteria in how fast we are uh giving him a connection or we are providing a contract uh, activation okay so similarly the second provision so after that you know uh, processing after the calf processing or after verification process in how much time we are able to uh, provide that particular service that makes sense of the speed and at the same time coming to the availability availability when we are providing such kind of connection whether it is available or the covered in a particular that area the customer wanting for so like this you know we can have uh, uh, different combinations over there now now uh, here we are talking about uh, something like uh, user centric qs categories quality of service categories so if you are talking of the conversational voice and video so the conversational word video should have you know uh, uh, the delay very very less than the 1 second okay coming to the voice and video messaging uh, it should be the responsive time should be approximately uh, below the 2 seconds and streaming of audio and video uh, that that response may be uh, extended up to 10 seconds also it's not an issue and coming to the facts it can be more than 10 seconds so now this according to the error tolerant we are talking about you know with respect to that particular service for example fax we are sending okay in the fax it's okay you know if you are having some delay more than i mean uh, of 10 seconds also it's okay because you know uh, we can treat that as a non critical thing and you know the fax we will get the fax after 10 seconds also we will get the fax and similarly coming to streaming audio and video okay if it comes to uh, less than the 10 seconds okay buffering may comes but you know but streaming will continue later all right coming to the video and voice messaging see here the thing is you know uh, when you are talking about uh, something like uh, 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 some uh, for example video messaging is there so it should be you know 
less than the two seconds especially if you are using the customer is using some conversational voice and video conversational voice or VOIP or you know uh, speech part we are talking about or something else you know interactive games so in interactive games okay that should be very very less than one second because that response should be immediately for example if you you know if you are going for some interactive game uh, for example you 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 assume that you know you are playing some PUBG okay so you are hitting some uh, some some person who is there uh, before you uh, the, if you are not hitting within the time what happens if you are hitting over here if you are operating your joystick or something but it is executed after a particular time then what happens so as in another uh, fellow he might be treating that you know uh, uh, you are not taking any kind of action that that might happens like like an in interactive games and all so the little delay should be very less and at the same time our conversational uh, voice and video also okay video telephone and speech part now uh, here one thing uh, i just wanted to uh, stress on LTE part here the quality of service makes a major major role in an LTE and in the LTE see what happens is the quality of service is implemented implemented between the user equipment and the PDN gateway so with respect in different different bearers different different bearers so bearer what is a bearer bearer is you know nothing but some kind of you know we are talking about the bearer it's a virtual concept it's a virtual concept so it is just like a virtual pipeline you can assume pipeline or path which is created in the network okay to to pass uh, to pass the traffic of the user through that particular pipeline virtually right so now what happens is when it comes to the LTE so first of all basic on the QOE right a, you know by the user equipment and our network so there is some bearer will be created in the radio segment that bearer we are talking about the radio bearer that radio bearer is from the user equipment to the e node v okay then uh, another uh, bearer will be created how how this you know user equipment or e node v is knowing that qas negotiation see if you observe in the picture mme is connected with the hss okay in the HSS terminal in the HSS we are providing the quality of the service to that particular customer okay what kind of quality of service you know to be uh, e e uh, implemented depending on the kind of service and similarly at the time of the service request when whenever the customer is latching to the network or uh, si uh, service request the user equipment shares uh, an APN profile APN template along with the quality of the service you know uh, which can uh, which can be available in that particular user equipment so taking that quality of the service template or you know uh, which is available in the user equipment what is the compatibility of the user equipment on etc etc and you know the quality of service defined in the HSS our network will negotiate something our network will you know understand something by comparing these two and you know basing on that criteria it will take in a judgment what kind of bearers has to be provided so basing on that in first of all uh, you know the between the user equipment and the e node b a bearer is established that bearer we are talking of the radio bearer and e node b to the signaling gateway sorry service gateway services gateway so uh, a bearer is established that is what we are talking about the s1 bearer okay so now here so this radio bearer and s1 bearer uh, together we are calling it about you know evolved radio access bearer evolved radio access bearer and now what happens is so the SGW will uh, have you know a negotiation of the quality of service re, uh, t taken request uh, came from the HSS and the user equipment it will negotiate and it will start creating some kind of tunnel uh, to the PGW and uh, SGW PGW you know with the PDP context uh, activation you know they'll be uh, creating a bearer what we call the SY or S8 bearer and in turn the PGW also creates an external bearer towards the internet cloud okay now so this bearer what the radio bearer and the S1 bearer and the SY S8 bearer together completely 
we are calling it an evolved packet system bearer evolved packet system bearer eps bearer now so there is an eps bearer with respect to our you know uh, lte network so there is an, an external bearer is also created from our pgw to the internet cloud so together our eps bearer and the external bearer we are calling an end to end service end to end service or end to end pipeline connectivity where a pipeline is being connected or you know we have uh, uh, provided some kind of uh, uh, pipeline mechanism to the internet ocean to the user equipment now what happens is if you consider that internet cloud is an ocean now the water whatever there in the uh, uh, ocean will you know will be diverted or you know the user can fetch the content from the internet like that now here you know this is again uh, the same thing so if you observe you know the user equipment e node b we are calling the radio bearer and then uh, e node b to the sgw on s1 interface we are calling the s1 bearer and sgw to the pgw we are having s y or s8 bearers you know uh, uh, on the s y or s8 uh, interface if it is an s y interface so it's an s y uh, bearer and if it's an s8 interface it is s8 bearer and again they can uh, from pgw to the internet cloud or pdn we are having a gi interface on that we will be establishing an external bearer so now we know that what end to end bearer and eps bearer uh, and evolved radio access bearer now coming to this implementation part uh, of this qoa in lte so basically in the lte uh, the bearers will be created in two modes one thing what we are talking about the default bearer and the second thing what we are talking about the dedicated bearer so the default bearer is created created so defaultly whenever the customer latches to the network okay and this default bearer is created on a uh, non guaranteed bit rates non guaranteed bit rates okay then after you know a dedicated bearer is created if it is needed and again that depends on uh, the quality of the service profile and the qci value of that particular customer depending on uh, depending on the qci value so that will be created a guaranteed bit rate bearer or non guaranteed bit rate bearer okay of course in fact you know we are having the qci values definitions basing on the qci values for example if he is using some real time uh, application just like vivo lte all right so the qci values will be different if he is using normal internet the qci value will be different so basing on that qci value right the qci values sorry yeah uh, that is what basing on the qci values it will be created so for example uh, if you observe here so the default bearer is one thing you know what we are talking about you know it's created non guaranteed bit rate but dedicated bearer is on the guaranteed bit rate it will be created basing on the real time application when it is a real time application then only we are going for the guaranteed bit rate dedicated bearer uh the same thing uh, gbr and non gbr uh for example just like i said so for services like vivo lte we need to provide a better user experience so so at that moment we should have a dedicated bearer should there right so and the dedicated bearer uses the tft traffic flow template uh, to give special treatment to the service provider okay uh, and dedicated bearer are mostly used as a guaranteed bit rate only so with respect to uh, uh, real time application but it also possible using a non guaranteed bit rate okay but it all depends on the service if it is a real time application for sure we need to go with a default uh, uh, sorry guaranteed bit rate with a uh, sorry uh, dedicated bearer with a guaranteed bit rate okay and and a dedicated bearer is created after the default bearer creation only it is a secondary bearer okay it is a secondary bearer created on the top of the existing bearer right now now here if you see this you know table so uh, you can see that qci 1 to qci 9 so there anyway 9 is also there we have given only 8 for your glimpses the qci 1 to 4 is goes for goes for the guaranteed bit rate and qci value 5 to 9 it goes for non guaranteed bit rate 
so if you observe so if it is a conversational voice or real time gaming or ima signaling or you know video buffering or you know live streaming or something like you know different different application they are having different different kind of you know the barriers on that so if it is a real time gaming we should need to go with a guaranteed bit rate okay so if it is uh, something as like ima signaling in the vivo lte what will be hang? we are using as an uh, sip signaling but the sip signaling interacts from the lte network to the ims so that ims signaling you know first again a non guaranteed bit rate uh, uh, a barrier will be created to have that signaling and again for our uh, traffic flow a guaranteed bit rate will be created uh, to uh, transmit our voice through vivo i mean voice over internet protocol like that so depending on the application uh, if it is a real time application we will be going with a gpr if non real time application we will be going with a non gpr mostly now uh, depending on you know uh, this quality of the service parameters uh, lte we are extending a bit so when it comes to the 5g when it comes to the 5g so basing on the quality of the service what the user we are promising so depending on the promising we are having three kinds of you know uh, the slices in uh, uh, 5g or depending on the quality of service we are promising to the user the 5g can be uh, rolled out in you know three categories service categories so one thing we are talking about the embb uh, that is nothing but the enhanced mobile broadband so now here in the EMBB what happens is uh, the EMBB uh, is a service category where we are promising a high bit rate high bit rate service as a promise okay uh, very speed connections very speed uh, uh, connections or very speed communication now another service category what we are talking about is massive machine type communications mmtc where in this kind of service what we are going to do is the network is able to uh, it is able to attach more number of devices in a sense n number of devices can connect to a particular network you now our service uh, our, our 5g network so that kind of service category in a sense we are giving a promise to you know connect n number of devices mostly in the iot segment if you are going for the industry iot or an automation something so what happens is you know uh, uh, the more and uh, devices are there just like uh, the sensors you know gateways or you know some communication device all they wanted to connect to the network so in a sense that is what we are talking about massive machine type communication category of a, a 5g rollout so another category of you know thing is ultra reliable low latency communications you are llc so this ultra reliable low latency communication is nothing but so for example if you are talking about the remote surgery or you know uh, something like that so what happens is at that moment so we should promise a customer that you know the latency time should be very 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 less okay so we are providing some kind of that quality as a service that you know stating the quality of service parameter especially focusing on the latency so we are providing very very low latency uh, latency communication so that kind of category we are talking in the 5g is you are llc okay now according to these expectations on these service categories so every category is defined defined on you know the different quality of service parameters okay so coming to the speed you know uh, he should get the throughput of 10 gbps we are promising as a qos and it all get to the you know 20 gbps if it comes to the latency wise it is reduced to even 0.5 milliseconds also okay and coming to the availability 100 percent network availability that's the reason in the 5g rollout we are going just like in a street light mode every bts has been deploying or you know placing just like in street light mode with a low coverage so when we are going with the low coverage what is happening we are able to connect a more number of devices to that particular uh, uh, bds or you know the particular uh, uh, trans receiver station okay now that uh, uh, that is what you know about the slices and the quality of the service of the 5g now what happens here in the 5g is uh, let us uh, a brief focus on the qos and qoe in the 5g all right see as you said the qoe is one you know based on experience 
experience of user expectation okay so user expectation ke hisab se chalte hai wo that's one and coming to our quality of the service the quality of service is you know what we are promising technically uh, for that particular you know application for example user is wanted to use a particular application so what kind of uh, qas we are opting for so that might be a, an application which is adapted to network conditions like uh, uh, al along with machine learning artificial intelligence techniques and all so that say makes sense you know uh, the n number of applications are coming into the picture n number of you know what we are talking about the apis are coming into the picture in the 5g and in the 5g we the users are going for you know ml and ai techniques and all so our we are promising such kind of thing we are promising uh, our service is meeting meeting uh, the users to use that kind of applications okay now the qoe is the one the quality of experience is that's based on you know the experience of using that application over a time okay so for example the customer is continuously using some kind of you know, ai based application on our 5g so with the qoes what we promise now he feel he, he it's an, an experience that will be measured that what we are talking about the qoe now coming to uh, the measuring of that qoe and qos in the 5g is so as we discussed already in the uh, previous slides so emab when we are talking about the emab service type the qoes should be uh, it, it should be the throughput should be 10 gbps and is a target of 20 gbps so then how the user will be felt every time the user may not you know test the speed isn't it so that's the reason you know that's an experience the quality of experience what uh, with the perception of uh, the user is see uh, when he is going for the emmb service emmb service type uh, in the 5g he should not get any buffering if he watching the 4k video or 4k streaming okay that is you know the experience that is what we can uh, we can say that measurable one how we are experiencing it in the sense uh, how we are measuring are yaar mai ek 4k video streaming dekh ke samay kuch bhi disturbance nahi aane that is my experience if it is okay then you know that sad, that uh, particular service type emmb is satisfied so now at the same time uh, M mmtc when it comes to the mmtc uh, massive machine type communication uh, what happens is you know we need to have uh, 100% network availability everywhere and we should have you know uh, very what do we talk about the shorter coverage area so that you know the more number of devices get connected to the network that's what you know our qos object but coming to the perception of the user the qoe is he should be having a billion million devices per square kilometer so per square kilometer you know you should have the more number of devices to get connect to that particular network just like 1 million nodes are also there 1 million devices are there uh, per square kilometer he should have this 1 million devices must have able to establish a communication in the 5g in the mmtc that is what the qoe measurable is right so just like similarly url lcc also so as a qoes we are promising the 0.5 milliseconds uh, low latency times even the 0.5 milliseconds so what user is experience is when he using any kind of as application artificial intelligence based application so he should experience it without any delay without any a single fraction of delay that is a measurable in the qo as far as the quality of experience concerned to the user in the 5g when he is using url llc service a category type now uh, end of the day uh, it's all about you know what kind of service uh, we are providing to the service type service it is defined by the operator or by a service provider and the quality of the service is nothing but you know what we are promising depending on our network okay uh, and we are promising to deliver to the customer and the qoe is you know whatever we delivered that is the qoe is a kind of user experience how the user feels about the service what we delivered to him that is a yeah uh, that's about this chapter discussion so thank you very much one and all who are watching this uh, presentation 
if you have any queries or something it's already been mentioned my phone number and the mail id uh, you are most welcome to reach me on my mail and uh, on my mobile thank you one and all wish you all the best